when you move a game like Planet Coaster onto console, uh, everything changes really because you're playing with a gamepad of course. There aren't really established conventions for how you control and interact with a game like this on console because there isn't really a game like this on console. We wanted to bring the full Planet Coaster experience to our console players. So rather than looking at things that didn't fit so well on console and saying, well, we've got to remove these to make it work better, we instead went with the approach of, well, how can we change it to make it work better with the console? One of the key development processes we went through was ensuring the game was fun to play, easy to access and intuitive, but still retains the level of detail in the construction and management that you can go into with Planet Coaster. So as part of Planet Coaster Console, we've added a new camera mode that allows you to build from the perspective of the track as you go around and really feel like you're kind of riding the coaster as you place piece by piece. As you're moving left and right and as you're doing your sort of bank turns and things, the camera will actually follow the track. You get the experience of almost riding the roller coaster as you're building it. Camera systems for games are extensive and there's a lot more to them than just coming up with something that sounds great in theory and implementing it. If it's slightly off, it feels completely wrong, even if it's off in a way that you can't quite pinpoint. So a lot of what we did was trial and error, changing things, testing them out, getting feedback, tweaking them to make sure that it all just felt right when you're using a console. One of the goals we had with Planet Coaster Console was making it a lot more accessible to new players whilst maintaining the depth that's there for the more advanced players. So for the UI, we rebuilt everything. So we built, um, we rework how how it's supposed to, how it's interface with the user, how buttons and panels and prompts are all are redesigned so that players have a better experience playing on a console. One of the advantages of, of really rethinking the UI and rethinking the tools from a console perspective is that we're able to add features that actually build a layer of consistency between different tools. So, for example, with the radial menu, which offers quick access to key actions, a bit like the keyboard shortcuts of the original game. The radial menu updates with every different edit mode that you go into, so whether you're editing track or placing buildings, the shortcuts available to you will be specific to that mode. For example, if you are placing track, you might be able to access the different smoothing options to make your track as uh, beautiful to ride for your guests as possible, whereas when you're editing scenery, it gives you quick and easy access to duplication and advanced move tools. I've been really, really pleased with how seamless and natural it feels when you're manipulating track pieces using the joysticks, placing track down. It's really, really quick and it's really, really easy. So one of the things we've done to help people start creating a park as quickly as possible and as easily as possible is we've introduced hundreds of new blueprints. And whether you want to play sci-fi, fantasy or fairy tale blueprints, there's something for everyone. Players who don't necessarily want to spend hours and hours creating a tiny little detailed building can just select one of these blueprints, place it down um, and have a really, really cool looking park in next to no time. Users are still able to, you know, craft intricate pieces, set pieces and, you know, really fine-tune how they want your park to look like. So you have that choice between whether you want to go right in, all the details, build everything from the ground up, or start off your park with a few more pre-made pieces just to get off to a quicker start. You have that choice of how you want to play. It's remarkable really how far we've come that you can play a game as deep as Planet Coaster on a gamepad and it just feels like the way it was meant to be played. We're really looking forward to share more of what we've been working on with you over the next months and we really hope you enjoy playing it when it um, comes to release.